Yo, what's good guys, Coach of Tech here. So today we got an air cooler to review from Corsair. This is their new one. This is the A500. Let's get to it. All right, you guys. So as you can see, this is the A500 retails for $100. All right, so this is their first attempt to make an air cooler. I am a huge fan of Corsair AIO's all-in-one liquid coolers, but this is the first time I actually got my hands on on the first um, air cooler. But anyways, this is the A500 high performance dual fan CPU air cooler. Uh, in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it out. Of course, we're gonna unbox it. We're gonna unbox it. I'm gonna put it in test bench. I'm gonna try to run some other cools, and we'll just do some comparison in um, in some temperatures and see if you know see if this is worth it. Just straight off, look, the presentation is fire. I gotta give it to Corsair. Just looking at it, it looks massive. The cooler itself. Uh, quickly, let's flip the box. It says super chilled. All right, we like to we like to hear that and see that. Uh, we just got this on the back. We have a bunch of literature, a bunch of breakdowns. Check them out. Next, we have all the way here. We have, uh, I guess, what's in the box. So we get fans, a uh, bunch of stuff. It looks like a screwdriver. So, so this is basically all the sockets it supports. It doesn't look like it supports thread thread ripper. Uh, we got AM4 sockets all the way to um, LGA uh, uh, LGA 2066. So that's that. But anyways, let me uh, let me pop this bad boy open. I am pretty uh, pretty curious. I mean, the thing looks absolutely beast, you know. But for hundred dollars, I gotta say it's not too much, you know. But the size of it, woo! I'm feeling the presentation, Corsair. I like this. You got a nice yellow box. Listen, man, a nice yellow box is always nice. Oh, you get a screwdriver. What? All right, yo. Shout out to Corsair, man. <laughs> okay. So we get some uh, fans. All right. Whoa. All right. All right. Let's look at what we get in the box. So we have a Corsair Phillips head screwdriver. Oh, man, I wish. I hope this this doesn't look like it's magnetic. All right, Corsair, you dropped the ball on this one. All right. I'm just kidding. <laughs> get a Phillips head screwdriver. This is dope. I. I all right. I. I guess, you know, give us more always is a plus. Uh, we get here a bunch of connect connections. Everything is labeled, everything is broken down. That's dope. So we get thermal paste, Corsair thermal paste, nice. So, okay, that's fire, that's fire. We get a booklet, of course. And now this is the bad boy cooler. We get some two Corsair fans here, looking like an uh, orientation of push. Do that. Now I gotta say one thing, man. What is up with this ugly, ugly? Okay, this this is an aluminum plate, but this is some ugly. What is this like a brushed brownish, blackish? I don't know. This looks very ugly. But anyways, you get um two Corsair 120 mil fans. You get here. All right, so this is basically where we're gonna put thermal paste. We get um, wires here. We gotta connect this bad boy to check it out. I am curious exactly how it works. But listen, man, this thing looks like legit like a car engine. It's huge. All right, this is really, really big. Um, I am curious to see, you know, this is gonna like be very space specific. I don't know if you have a, a micro ATX case, how it's, if it's even gonna fit and like, anyways, let's, 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 let's install this in the test bench and, uh, Let's uh, let's check this out. Let's go. So before I'm gonna install it in the test bench, I just want to show you guys quickly, um, you know, how to take things off here. So I was just playing around with it in the, you know, in the background, and now I just want to show you. So essentially, these fans, uh, well, essentially, you could unscrew these fans and put different fans in here because in the orientation already comes as push pull. So as you can see over here, but what we could do is we could just pull them out, just slide them out. It has. This mechanism over here, you just slide them out and you take the entire uh, shroud, cover, whatever you want to call it. And then if you want to take the fans out, essentially you could unscrew them. And the same thing here, just slide it out and it comes out. Still standalone, I would say if you just look at it right here, uh, still pretty big. It's still a pretty big cooler, especially when you add the fans, it's even massive. And uh, we have thermal paste here. I mean, if you want, you could use your own. Uh, you could just basically... Just take it out uh, here. The reason why we got a long screwdriver, essentially when you're gonna screw down the cooler, this cover up top pops out. And what we're gonna do is take the screwdriver, the long screwdriver, and basically screw in the cooler. And that's essentially it. And now it's fully 
naked and this is why we got such a long screwdriver now if they didn't add this screwdriver it would be honestly the worst <laughs> it would honestly be the worst but anyways now i am gonna you know put this in into the test bench and then like i said earlier this cover itself we could just screw off these fans and you could put different fans in here but like i said earlier let me uh, pop this now into the test bench and let's play around with it let's go all right guys so there's one last thing i want to cover man installing this cooler was a complete pain on the behind all right so it's like a whole little system you gotta put these brackets in you gotta put these screws you gotta put these screws through there and it's like a just a pain in there Look, my RAM is all filthy trying to apply all of this. I was just taking this out right now and I'm like, hold up, let me, I, I totally forgot to mention this. Installing it was a complete pain in the behind, guys. All right, keep that in mind, guys. Keep that in mind. All right, so guys, the air cooler is installed. Now quickly, all the testing is gonna be done with the 2700X, the Ryzen 7 2700X. It is overclocked to four gigahertz. Now, all right, so the cooler's inside, man. It is absolutely massive. If I said, look, it, it even covers the, you can't even see my RAM because of the fan. That's how massive it is. You basically can't see the entire, the majority of the motherboard since it's, real, since it's all cut away. So aesthetically, this is absolutely ugly. Also, I don't know what this is. This is not even black. This is some, I don't even know what I would say, like, uh, chrome or charcoal color, color like charcoal color which has no rgb these fans absolutely have no rgb there's like no rgp just like a big ass engine in in your system you know just to i, I would I, I would personally never rock this in my system just to let you guys know but regardless of the fact we're gonna about to see the performance i just want to show you guys it's absolutely absolutely massive really really massive all right you guys so the a500 cooler is installed now it's right over there. It's a massive cooler, man. Humongous. But anyways, we got the stress test, a Data64 running here. It's now been running for an hour and 19 minutes. We are getting some good temps. We are getting 56 Celsius. I mean, it is really, really sweet. Now quickly, everyone's gonna ask me basically how noisy is it? Now this is on max. So I got a decibel meter over here. So we're gonna put it, this does have, I have the tempered glass. What I'm gonna do is I wanna do the nose point noise noise profile with the tempered glass and then we're going to take it out so right now it is at hold on so we're getting like 47 now i'm speaking it's getting louder so 47 48 decibels not too bad let me quickly take the glass out and let's check it out all right boy so the glass is off let's put the decibel meter right by the fan So we got 58 to 57 uh, decibels. Not too bad, remember, remember this is full load. Right now we're gonna be gaming and I just wanna give you guys a sound comparison of the cooler as well as how we get the temps. All right guys, so just right now I have a benchmark looping. This is a Red Dead Redemption. So this is gonna give you a more real world experience of when you're gaming how loud the, uh, the A500 cooler is gonna be. So I got the handy de decibel meter again on hand. The glass is on, let's check it out. Forty-six. We got forty-six decibels. Now keep in mind that the graphics card. I got a five ninety Red Devil in there. It's gonna make some noise too. But again, the cooler. I'm hearing it right now. Not loud. Not loud whatsoever, guys. All right, you guys. So we changed things up. We got the Wraith Prism cooler installed in there. I'm liking this. We got some RGB. You could actually see the RAM that I got installed over here. You can see how many sticks, which brand. You could actually see the motherboard. So the space is substantially different. So now let's check out the temps, what we rocking. Now, of course, like I said, it is overclocked. Now it's been going on right now for an hour and 20. We're getting 65, it's, it's, been, it's been hitting like 66 Celsius. So I wanna say that, you know, it's a 10 degrees different from the A500 to the Wraith Prism. Now, of course, let's do the, uh, the glasses on. Let's do the, uh, the decibel meter test. So we're getting 48 decibels. All right, now I gotta say, even from here on max load, 
it is pretty, you, you hear it, it is pretty loud. All right, let's quickly take the glass off. All right, you guys, so the glass is off. Let's get the decibel meter action in there. I guess we got to round it up, 64 decibels. That Look, man, she is loud. Now, listen, I hear it from here, but look, it's max load. You know, you're going to be gaming, your CPU is not going to be on max load. But anyways, let me uh, just quickly put a benchmark in there. Let's put the uh, Red Dead Redemption benchmark one more time. And basically, let's see how loud it gets, and let's, let's get to see those temps. All right, you guys, so I got Red Dead over here just looping, just doing its thing. Let's check out what we're getting. All right, so we're getting a 60 two on the GPU and 55 on the CPU. All right, let's check out how it sounds. Getting 46, 46 decibels. I mean, look, when you're not, you know, <laughs> when you're gaming, your CPU is not gonna be on full load, your GPU is gonna be on full load. You know what I'm saying? So it's not gonna be as noisy, but still, Listen, it's still not bad. The Raid Prism is still, it's still doing its work. It's not that loud, you know, hearing it from here as well as reading it from the decibel meter, guys. All right, you guys. So lastly, we have a Corsair H100i Platinum installed, an AIO right over here. She's looking absolutely beautiful. All right, so we are running the benchmark for now for an hour and 33 minutes, four gigs. Now the temps, look at that, 58 0.75 so basically 59 celsius i could never believe to say this but actually the a500 did a better in a slightly you know two degrees and in, in a in a scenario like this did a better job cooling by right, let's check out the uh, the uh, the decibel meter right here let's check out the sound So I want to say 44, 43 decibels. I mean, it is running a lot quieter. Now, the, these are Chinese fans that are installed. They are running at 1,500 RPM. But yeah, that's, a, that's listen, man, I'm, I'm a bit shocked, guys. I'm really, really shocked. All right, guys, so I just got Red Dead running here. And of course, let's check out the sound, how it sounds when it's gaming. So we got, I want to say like 44 in the temps. We got going on are basically 45, 46. Well, this is fluctuating 54, 53 degrees Celsius when it's gaming. I mean, you guys saw all the tests. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know if, you know, the A500 is really worth $100 or what's what, Joe. But as always, guys, I'm Kosher Tech. I'm going to catch you guys next time. Deuces. Okay, like that. <laughs>